بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد الأمين نبي الأنبياء وخاتم المرسلين وعلى آله وصحابته والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى الدين سبحانك لا علم لنا إلا ما علمتنا إلا ما علمتنا إنك أنت العليم الحكيم سبحانك لا علم لنا إلا ما علمتنا إنك أنت العليم الحكيم هناك لا علم لنا لا علم لنا لا علم لنا كنت عليم حكيم. قال الناظم رحمه الله تعالى الدرس الثاني من الصوم وترك إخراج المني الداعي والقيء والمليء والجماع نسيان لا في الفرض يوجب القضاء كالسبق من مستاك أو تمضمضا والشك في البدر أو الغروب أو ابتلاع البلغم المغلوب والشك في البدر أو الغروب أو ابتلاع البلغم المغلوب أو عامدا في النبل فطرا حرما ولو عليه بالطلاق أقسما ولا قضى في غالب من مذي أو قيء نوم بلغم أو مني أو مني ولا ذباب لا ذباب غبرة الطريق أو صانع الجبس أو الدقيق وخمسة في عمدها تكفر إلا بتأويل قريب يعذر في رمضان قط باختيار فرفعه النية بالنهار أو أكل لو شربا فيه عمدا أو من جماع أو مني أو من أو من جماع أو مني قصدا وهي على التخير إما أدى ستين مسكرا لكل مدة وصام شهرين ولا أن نسق أو مؤمنا رقا سليما اعتقى ومن توانى في قضاء رمضان مفرطا حتى اتاه الثاني نعم نعم وترك اخراج المني الداعي كذلك ايضا من من واجبات الصوم بل من شروطها ان يترك الصائم اخراج تعمد اخراج المني الداعي وكذلك اخراج القيل والمدي او الجماع كل تعمد هذا مبطل للصوم in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, the all merciful, the especially merciful, all praise is due to Allah, the Lord of the worlds. May his peace, blessings, mercy, honor, elevation, and protection be upon our Master Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his noble family, companions, and followers until the day of judgment. Glory be to you, O Allah, and far from imperfection are you. We have no knowledge except that which you have taught us. Indeed, <coughs> you are <coughs> the all-knowing and all-wise. We are continuing the chapter of fasting in Asan Masalik. Uh, he mentions now the next thing that is required, obligatory to do uh, for the fast is to, to, to abandon uh, to stop, uh, the intentional release of a major sexual fluid, um, which is for. Um, uh, either it's uh, by thinking or oh, sleeping oh, or oh, touching, uh, uh, not sleeping, excuse me, by touching or any type of thing that would be intentional, fantasizing, anything that... that uh, or uh, done manually, individually, as people do um, by themselves, either men or women. Um, to uh, to uh, 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 derive to derive a uh, pleasure uh, by uh, you know uh, uh, by uh, bringing about uh, uh, through masturbation uh, that all of this is um, uh, would break the uh, fast and, uh, 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 and it's all forbidden and of course the point that it, it breaks the fast is when either minor or major sexual fluid is released however if the major is released then then that leads to a different uh, outcome as well and if a person uh, threw up intentionally and, then this person, and, and the throwing up uh, and, the, and the vomit came out, then this would break the fast. So then the, the minor uh, sexual fluid, the uh, prostatic fluid for men, or a clear fluid for either men or women, and, uh, uh, doing any action 
you or even fantasizing that leads uh, that is intentional uh, that leads to the release of this fluid does break the fast also for us <laughs> or intentionally having intercourse if any if an individual did any of this um, forgetfully, then and in, 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 in the fasting that is required, which is in the month of Ramadan or fast, so it would uh, break the fast and um and, uh, so, of course, the, the forgetfulness would would break that fast, and if it was a required fast, then a person would need to make up that day. But, of course, if the person is fasting a makeup day already, and then they end up breaking their fast in that way forgetfully, then, then uh, they would make up an extra day, but he would still, he would just still owe that day, um, still. The same goes for a person who accidentally swallowed a piece of the miswak they were brushing their teeth with. Um, or accidentally swallowed the water that they were uh, it, it, using for wudu in their mouth or nose. Mm. Unintentionally, accidentally, then then they would need to make up that day. And if somebody is unsure, if somebody ate and they were unsure whether the light was out, meaning that either they were making sukur and then they kept eating until perhaps the, the, the white thread had shown, which it definitely happens before the time most people's apps say. Uh, or uh, they ate at the iftar time that is on people's apps and adjusted, which in 90% of the time is early. Uh, so if somebody is unsure, did I eat? Uh, uh, was did the real time come in or not? Then, 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 uh, then, uh, the, if they're in doubt, then it breaks the fast once they uh, when they eat. So which one is worse? Uh, a person breaking their fast uh, by, by eating while they're in doubt uh, that is the Fajr uh, in is Maghrib in um, then that definitely breaks the fast. But what's worse, if he knows that he's in doubt, or he just has no idea about the timings whatsoever? And every day in suhoor he's eating too late, and as if thought he's eating too early, as people. Do. Which one is worse, the one who is ignorant of his state in eating, or the one who is uh, uh, knows that? It, they could be wrong, but they're still eating. Both of them are evil, but the, the worst one is the one who is ignorant. And Imam 
فسالته قال قلت له هذا التوقيت وهذا قال يعني كل الناس على هذا التوقيت. قال انت انت امام وانت اعوذ بالله منك اعوذ بالله منك امام اعوذ بالله منك تريون مره امام. يعني شوف هذا بعد هذا لا يكون اسوء من الجاهل الذي يثق به وكلهم هذا ليس كذلك الجاهل والشاك ولكن هذا سيكون عليه اوزار هذا ليس كالجاهل هذا اللي يحمل لنا قال مختلف او اللي خوف من النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم خوف وما خافوا على امة المظلمون هذا فرق بينه وبين عام الجاهل والشاك فالعام الجاهل اسوء من عام الشاك واما هذا عنده اوزار ان يتحمل مسؤوليات بني ادم ولن ينقص ذلك ايضا ايضا من اوزارهم هم شيء من غير حد يصنع من غير ان ينقص من اوزارهم شيء سيقول ليثم اضعاف من غير ان ينقص من اوزارهم شيء. So I had asked one of the most knowledgeable people انت اخبرتني بهذا الامر. I'm saying that I was telling Sheikh Rafas right now that I asked. وقلنا قلت مليون مره اعوذ بالله من كلمه. One of the most knowledgeable people I know just very like top of the line considered scholar. With tens of thousands of people, you know, following them, um, I asked him um, that, look, uh, which timing should we go with? This time seems to be inaccurate. Uh, the, this degree time or that degree time. He said, you know what? This is what. He said, just forget about the matter. He said, most people go with this. Just go with what everybody's doing. <laughs> and he, he knows the matter exactly. So <laughs> So I will explain to you the meaning. It means he was telling you that I'm a shaitan. That I'm a devil who is corrupt, who is deceiving the people. So my question is, despite his knowledge that Allah subhanahu wa taala misguided him, despite his knowledge as Allah subhanahu wa taala says. So then I asked uh, about this, and then Sheikh's answer is, uh, look, look at what this is. That, that, uh, that, look at what this uh, Imam is saying, and I'udhu billah that you're an Imam a trillion times. But uh, look at what uh, you're saying, that this is what the Prophet sallallahu said, the, the greatest fear of all my fears upon my people are the misguiding leaders. So I asked, is this person's sin worse, or is... That this person is knowing and he's breaking his fast, or the person who doesn't know, who is ignorant, who is trusting such a person. Of course, in that case, this person is worse because this person knows and not only is doing the wrong thing himself, but he is telling uh, you know, tens of thousands of people uh, and who are relying upon him. He is not giving them the information that they need and not helping them, and they're trusting him. And following a, a time where they're and, and paying him money daily and weekly and monthly, and giving him gifts and respecting him, as Allah says, and they will bear their burdens and they will bear their burdens with their burdens, and they will ask on the day of judgment about about that which they used to lie and make up. ولن ينقص ذلك من أوزارهم شيء هي المشكلة هو عليه أطعابهم وباقي عليهم الأوزار تقليده لو لا يفيده. And, and sadly, uh, they will carry those people's sins, but those people will also carry their own sins. None of their sins would be decreased just because they, it's not an excuse that they say that, oh, we were just following that person. No, it's not an excuse. So this is something that we mentioned before, that it is not knowledge that allows somebody to give a fatwa or that you can take a fatwa from somebody simply because they have knowledge. You have to know from experience that this person gives the fatwa based on not just knowledge, but, but absolute carefulness in their deen, that they really fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in their decision when they give an opinion. When they give their statement to you, they're seeing themselves giving that same statement on the Day of Judgment. That they're considering that Allah says that the day that we 
and call all the peoples by their with their leaders. With their imams, with their leaders, what did you tell them? Did you guide them? How did you answer their question? Did you show them the correct path or did you misguide them? But of course not. No, you, you took their wealth and you built the masjids and, and, and became the imams and prisoners. And every time you come, you're an imam so-and-so and sheikh so-and-so. Everybody be quiet, the sheikh is here. You know this. But this guy just told you about what the Sheikh said. Sheikh Ashrat Alam, who is a man 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 who is <laughs> because unfortunately it is better that a goat has a beard than he has a beard to deceive people with. Mm-hmm. An unfortunate state that affects us that we do not know about the validity of our prayer timing, not just in fasting, but for the prayer itself. That due to just being careless about the timings, uh, our fasts and our prayers are in, invalidated. But we do not know its time, nor what invalidates it, nor what makes it valid. Nor its conditions, nor its times. Nor what necessitates making up the fast, nor what necessitates making up the prayer, nor what necessitates. Uh, 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 no. So this is why I say that I'd rather uh, give a, I'd rather donate money to a bar than to these messages that keep people in this ignorance. I'd rather be donating money to the naked women in the streets of Berkeley than, than to these men. The prostitutes. But once again, mentioning the hadith uh, 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 that uh, the Prophet Sallallahu said that there will be uh, a time that people will be rushing to the masjids and filling them day and night, uh, but not amongst them is a single believer. The reason why it's better to donate to a bar than to such a masjid is because at least the people in the bar will know they're doing a sin, but the people going to these masjids and centers will be deceived and they will never repent because they don't know that they're even doing a sin. And from the strangest things is that you do not know, but you do not know that you do not know. As I've said, uh, that the greatest calamity, Ibn Jawzi said that the greatest calamity is that you do not 
قوم يصومون ولا يصومون ويصلون ولا يصلون ويتبرعون ولا يتبرعون ويبنون المساجد ولا يبنون المساجد. People praying but not really praying. People fasting but not really really fasting. People building masjids but not really building masjids. قوم يتبرعون وما تبرعوا مطلقا. Donating but not really donating. نعم ولا قضاء بغالب ونعم وعام الشك في البدر او الغروب او تلاعب بالغم المغلوب هذا غير صحيح قال ان واحد تلاعب بالغم عمدا لا يقتل الصوم ولكن مشهور انه فقط مكروه. And then as far as swallowing phlegm here he mentions an opinion عمدا that the intentional swallowing of phlegm is it does break the fast or meaning that it's one of the obligations to not do that as far as that this is incorrect the the مشهور opinion is that it is dislike to swallow phlegm عامد في النبل فطرا حرما ولو عليه بالطلاق يقسما كذلك من اضطر عمدا في النبل عمدا فطرا حرام ليس لمرض ولا لكراه لكن تعمد As for the one, no. As for the one who uh, intentionally breaks his fast when he is not fasting a Ramadan fast, when he's not <laughs> fasting, a, when he's making, when he's fasting an optional fast, a nafil fast, then he, uh, then it's haram for him to break his fast. <laughs> and he must break that, and he must make up that day that he intentionally fasted. ولو عليه بالطلاق يقسمها ولو قسم عليه واحد بالطلاق نعرفك واحد حلف عليه قسم عليه قال لا لا تبطلنا ولا تكوننا زوجة طلاق قال خليه فيحرم ال يحرم الافطار لانه هو اللي برط في واحد اقسم عليه ولو بالطلاق ولكن الطلاق يثبت اذا اذا هو ما لم يفطر لا لا يفطر اذا افطر ولو واحد اقسم عليه بالطلاق يجب عليه الخضاء ولا يجوز له الافطار ولكن اذا افطر لا يقع الطلاق واذا لم يفطر وقع الطلاق اشياء اخرى معناها لو اقسم عليك شخص بالطلاق هذا ما تفكر خلاص لا صومين ولا تبطلوا اعمالكم ان سم بيبول ذي ستيل دو ذي اكت اوف سويرنج باي الطلاق ولو بالطلاق بالله اقول لك سويرز ذات او يو ماست Uh, break your fast. I swear you're going to break your fast. Or even I swear I'm going to divorce my wife. If you do not break your fast, you still do not break your fast. Uh, if somebody says, I'm divorcing my wife, if you don't fa- if you don't break your fast, then okay, if they want to divorce their wife, they'll divorce their wife, but you don't break your fast. Allah says, do not invalidate your actions. That's between you and your wife anyways. لكن سنرجع لو هو افطر فعلى حرام وجب عليه القضاء والطلاق ما وقع. So the person does break their fast then فعلى حرامه. The person who made who swore uh, الذي حلف فعل حرام والذي واللي افطر ايضا على حرام. So both of them did haram one of them by swearing by divorce and the other one um افطر بدون broke his fast in the middle of the day is, is بسبب حلف هذا الشخص. Because of this guy's uh, uh, oath then still he's doing haram by breaking his fast. And he must make up that day. But the divorce will not be in that matter because uh, the, the oath was fulfilled. سلس او في النوم شيء يخرج بلا بلا اي تسبب هذا لا حرج لا شيء. So somebody was not intentionally you know, fantasizing or or whatever and then in their sleep they released uh, 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 the or in sleep or awake uh, accidentally you know without any type of action on their end and intention then uh, but they release yeah, either uh, the clear fluid or the major sexual fluid why well, say major sexual and not sperm because this includes the the uh, the climax fluid uh, clear fluid for women um, as well as the uh, 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 so as well as sperm for men 
And the minor, I w- I'm referring to the clear fluid either for men or for women, which all break the yeah, fast. So if that comes out, if either comes out unintentionally by the person and, and without them doing anything to make it come out, then they, their, <laughs> their fast is not broken. <laughs> Or if somebody accidentally swallows a fly uh, or dust, uh, uh, you know, you know, there's a lot of wind. They swallowed some dust. A fly flew into their mouth. And then they they do not their fast is not broken. Or the one who's or the one who is dealing with such a factory like uh, 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 cement or and there's a lot of dust everywhere from the cement or, or, or wood or um, or uh, or flour uh, whatever powders that are going to be in the air in these factories and so on and they must uh, take means to uh, to or, you know to protect their face and something like that to wear something um, they must and they must be careful but if beyond that, they're gonna end up swallowing something, and that does not break the fast. Now we reach a different, so that was the things that a person is required to stay away from, what breaks the fast, and so on. Now is specifically the things that if somebody breaks their fast in this way, they must pay the kafara, which will be detailed. There are five ways that you break your fast. There are five ways that that uh, uh, that a person breaks their fast that they would need to Ramadan be and this of course is in specific to the Ramadan. Not in qada, but not if somebody breaks their qada fast or their oath fast or whatever fast. If somebody in the Ramadan did one of these five things, then they would owe the kafara. Uh, so first of all, there's a disclaimer that the person um, has, uh, you know, some knowledge of some Islamic proof, and they that they acted upon. Due to uh, ignorance. Um, but if we look at the proof, it makes sense if you don't really know uh, what the proof means. <laughs> so they, so they, they didn't, so the, meaning that they didn't do that sin flagrantly breaking their fast. They they were they they were taking something from the Quran which they had misunderstood, such as a person who uh, bro- broke their fast because they were traveling. Uh, or somebody, but their travel wasn't long enough. Or, or uh, he broke his fast because he was traveling and he hadn't started his day traveling. So then it wasn't valid for him to break his fast, uh, but then he, he read the Quran, the one that it bra- what breaks their fast for traveling or for sickness, they, don't, they, they, they can break their fast. So then, uh, or he ha- had a sickness that, that has nothing to do with fasting, that fasting, breaking his fast would not make things easier for him at all. That his, the fasting didn't affect it whatsoever, then... Um, then, then he still obviously needs to make up that day and he did something wrong and haram by acting upon ignorance. However, since he did not flagrantly and uh, outright go and intentionally break his fast uh, 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 invalidly, um, then he would not have to pay the kafar. So, 
ويصيبه الصداع أو من لكن ما لا ما ما له إمام فقال من الغد أنا سأصبح مرتبا لأن من العادة أن يوم الأربعاء هذا يوم الأربعاء هذا من عادة أن يوم الكلاء في الشهر دائما ابتداء الأسبوع أو ساتو يأتينا الصداع فسأصبح مرتبا أو ما قالت أنا يعني على كل حال الدورة تأتيني غالبا غدا فلماذا أنا ستأتيني الدورة وسأفطر على كل حال ولو جاءت الدورة ولو جاء هنالك صداع ذلك يكفر so this is in regard to a plausible uh, uh, interpretation that they made, such as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying, if you're traveling or are sick, uh, uh, and so on, they can make up the day at a different time. However, if somebody has a less plausible proof, such as they say, okay, I, yeah, when I'm on my period, I don't fast, so I normally, now according to my calendar, I'm going to get my period sometime tomorrow, so therefore, I'm not going to fast at all that day. So, so then they're like, why would I even fast the beginning of the day and wait until my period to break my fast? I'll just break my fast. I know I'm going to get my period anyways. Then, or if somebody is like, you know, every time the weather changes like this, I get sick. I know that I'm going to be sick tomorrow. You know, let me just break my fast from now. Or I know every Wednesday I get a headache. That uh, uh, you know, and I and I. So you trip on it until I So I'm gonna have a hard time. So let me just break my fast before I even get the headache. Let me break my fast before I even get my period starts. Then. What do you Even if that period comes that day, even if uh, that that person ends up getting sick. ما ب ما ما بدأت اليوم بالفطار فقد كفرت. If somebody didn't wait for that to happen, they broke their fast before. Because they were expecting to break their fast later, they they must pay the kafara still. Yeah. So another excuse is that uh, that the person also is breaking their fast intentionally and they're not being forced to. So intention one is rejecting the intention of fasting. That they're saying, I'm not going to fast today, and I'm going to eat today. Even before he goes to his friends who are eating and drinking, he tells them, okay, I'm going to eat with you guys. Even before he eats, he, he has a, if his intention was solid that I'm going to eat, and I'm not fasting anymore, he is no longer fasting, even if he doesn't <laughs> eat. Even if he doesn't end up eating, he must pay the kafara. So, so these are the things that necessitate the kafara. There's other things that break the fast. These are the ones that necessitate the kafara. Number one is rejecting the intention of fasting. Number two is eating. Number three is drinking. So, so eating or drinking from the mouth only. So the one that is the kafara is intentional eating and drinking from the mouth. So excuse me, it is actually. Number one, reject, an intention of rejecting the fast. Number two, eating from the mouth intentionally. Number three, uh, drinking from the mouth intentionally. Number four, having intercourse with penetration of either a private part of another person or have uh, being penetrated uh, 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 intentionally uh, <laughs> from the private parts. Uh, or number five, uh, and of course this requires intentionality as well. And number five is a re the release of major sexual fluid intentionally. No. Not minor. So this is the difference between major and minor. If a person released the prosthetic fluid due to imagination and so on, fantasizing, but they did not release the sperm, for example, for a man, then his, his fasting would be broken, but he wouldn't know the So those are the five. Now we have another list. What in what ways can a person fulfill their kafara? What is the kafara? For us, uh, first of all, it is important to know that uh, unlike everybody else, for us the the kafara 
must be, uh, there is a separate kafara for each day that a person intentionally broke their fast in one of those five ways. And also, second, it is important for us to know that for us it is a, a, a choice, it's optional, it's not in order. Uh, the kafara can be fulfilled in one of three ways based on your choice, any one of them that you want. And number one is to feed 60 uh, poor people, poor Muslims, um, enough uh, uh, food for a, uh, 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 one mud of food is the traditional way of measuring it. So feeding, so feeding 60 poor people, and uh, the second way of, of uh, breaking uh, of doing the kafara is uh, uh, fasting 60, uh, 60 days um, uh, 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 continuously without interruption without any intentional interruption as well as making up that missed uh, day that, that a person had broken their fast. Um, and if somebody had done uh, broken their fast intentionally for two days, well, they would need to fast 60 days for the first day and 60 days for the second day. So for each day that a person... Uh, and the third is to give a... Uh, to free a slave who is a believer who is healthy. A healthy to free a slave who is healthy and a believer, a Muslim slave. ومن توانى في قضاء رمضان مفرط رمضان مفرط حتى أتاه الثاني قضاه وليطع كل يوم مدة واحد في في شهر عنده أيام من رمضان الماضي ودخل رمضان هذا بدون عذر ما عنده أمراض تمنعه من ولم يقضي تلك الأيام الماضية فإذا انتهى رمضان ما يمكن الآن يعمل شيء في هذا رمضان ولا صيام هذا رمضان عبد الله بيناه عليه أن يصوم هذا رمضان ما يمكن يفعل شيء آخر so then, so then uh, a, a, a person is um, uh, it, it needs to make up some فرطة. days of their last Ramadan. For example, if, uh, most commonly, if a woman had her period, which happens, or a person was traveling or sick. Um, and then they have to make up those days after Ramadan, of course. But, and it is required for them to make up those days before the next Ramadan comes in. So they have 11 months to make up those days. So they just get lazy and without an excuse, the next Ramadan comes and they still haven't made up those days. So of course, they must fast that Ramadan. And they can't do qada while Ramadan is going on. And if a person is like, okay, I'm not going to fast Ramadan because I have kafara days to do, I have qada days to do, then of course they will owe another kafara. Uh, so, because, so, so even if they're fasting qada during Ramadan, it will not be accepted for Ramadan, or will it be, nor will it be accepted for qada. Um, uh, so then, uh, so then, what does a person have to do when they realize that hey, I now from last Ramadan there's some days that I haven't made up until this Ramadan. What do they do? They pay the kafara sohra. Which is one. Uh, so it's meaning after they they. يستطيع أن يدفع ذلك في ذلك الرمضان. So then uh, they, after that Ramadan is over, then they not only make up those days that they still had missed, they still need to make them up. And now on top of that, as a penalty for delaying a whole year without an excuse, then for each day that they owed, they need to also feed a poor person. Poor Muslim. A poor Muslim. هذه الكفارة وهذه الزكوات لا تعطى إلا للمسلمين. لا تعطى إلا للمسلمين. So both the kafara and whatever people are paying for videos and zakat. The zakat itself, the zakat al at the end of Ramadan. All of these go to the poor Muslims. 
وكل هذا وأكرر عليكم لا تعطوه لشخص لا تثقون بأنه سيضعه في مكانه مية بالمية. So and I tell you again, be very careful. Make sure that. لا ي لا هذا لا يزيكم لا يزيكم هي أعطيته مع الشكل هذه المنظمات حتى تعتقدوا مية بالمية أنهم سيعطون للفقراء والمساكين. That whoever you're giving money to to pay to feed these poor people, uh, whatever organization or whatever it is, if you don't trust them, if you're in doubt that are they really going to give it to them? Of course, you don't even know them. You don't know them. You just saw a link online and you're just paying it through that. So you don't even know those words. And you don't know what the messages and the centers are doing. So So don't if you give it to the people while you're in doubt. Then it doesn't count. It's you. You. It's it might as well you have not uh, have not paid it. So you need to give it to somebody that you trust who will distribute it to the poor people. Just as you heard earlier, uh, that now a person who in, uh, knows the right <laughs> way is just who I mentioned, uh, and is just saying <laughs> you, know, <laughs> that, it's okay. you know, just it's what everybody else is doing. Just go with it. Yeah. I don't want to say hundreds of thousands of people follow him, but tens of thousands of people for sure in his own locality. I'm going to say hundreds of thousands of people. No, I'm going to say tens of thousands. Tens of thousands. Ah, subhanallah. He told me, don't worry about it. So everything goes by, just go with the calculation. But yet this person that everybody is trusting, and everybody like him, you're going to give them, you know, Put the timetables. So you're following them in your prayer. Of course, you're going to trust them to give them your. This is the great calamity. So my brothers, it's not going to help you to follow such individuals. To follow these irresponsible and foolish people it is, and to trust them is, is, is craziness. It will not benefit you on the Day of Judgment. It'll be too late to say, oh, I blame them. They're the ones who misguided me. And I, I just paid it to whatever masjid. I just gave it to the leader of that whatever organization he managed. I gave it to the Pakistani or the African or whatever organization. You think you can say that on the day of judgment? Oh, I just donated it to them and that was it. Where is your zakat? Oh, I paid it. To that organization. Who does that organization distribute to? I heard they gave it to India or, uh, or Africa. There's a lot of poor people there, I'm sure they give it to them. <laughs> how many nice cars did that person buy and how many nice clothes did that person buy? <laughs> 
And look at the nice car his wife is driving and the nice clothes that his children are wearing. خلاص. With your mind. هذا هو حاله. This is your state. أين ذهبت أمواله؟ This is your state. هذه أين أنا أخبركم عن أين ذهبت أمواله؟ I'm telling you this is where your money is going. ما جاء الفقراء. It didn't go to the poor people. It didn't go to the poor people. The people running those organizations are living like kings. They're paying whatever salary they want to themselves. سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت أستغفرك وأتوب سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين الحمد لله رب العالمين الحمد لله على أحد عباد عباده اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم وبارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على محمد اللهم صل يا من لا ترى العيون ولا تغالط ظهورا ولا يصبر واصبر ولا تغير الحوادث ولا يحصل الدوال يا لو مثاق الجبال وبكى الى البحار وعدد قطر الامطار وعدد ورق الاشجار وعدد ما ظلم عليه الليل واشرق عليه النهار لا تواري منه سماء سماء ولا ارض ولا ضب ولا بحر ما يفرق عليه اجعل خير اعمالنا واخرها واخر اعمالنا خواتم واخر ايامنا ايام نلقاك يا اخر الله اللهم صل على محمد وعلى اله وصحبه سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك اشهد ان لا اله الا انت استغفرك يا ابي سيدي التوفيق